All right, so today we're taking our first look at no code DB. This is going to be my first impressions video, so I'm mainly looking forward to seeing how easy this Airtable clone is to use, what kind of interesting features it might have, how scalable is it, and generally, how does it compare to the King of the Mountain so far? Because I'm a heavy Airtable user and I want to see what new things these guys bring to the table. Stick around, we're going to take a look at everything that it's got to offer from automation, from the general user experience, to any possible interesting features, to how it handles form building, all of this coming up. Hi. If you're new here, my name is Alex, and this is what we do on this channel. We talk about low code, databases, AI, automation, and everything in between. So yeah, without any further ado, let's get stuck in. All right, let's go. So uh, first and foremost, their website. Let's see what that kind of looks like. So they initially show you how the general grid view looks like, nothing really special, how many organizations they have been trusted by six and a half thousand people trust them really no i mean they're like in technical preview yeah that doesn't sound true how it works yep okay basically great we can hook everything up to it very nice all right so uh what about documentation for apis like this is one of my key things that i care about okay table records read write it looks like they are paying attention to their API, to their developer community. Let's now log in and see what the inside looks like. Now, hand on heart, this is my first time ever logging in. I have never looked at this before. So let's see how easy it is to navigate this and create our first base. Okay, I guess it's quite straightforward because there's like a button over there create base there's new table import data sources members okay i like it it's kind of straightforward how do i add anybody let's create a new base because that's kind of familiar to what we are used to oh okay so these are our bases all right i didn't really notice that bases and then we have our table so let's create a new table let's call this companies excellent so we're taken straight in Oh, all right. So this is kind of familiar to the user interface that we saw with AI table where pretty much everything you need is on the side panel and you can just hide it, show it. I wonder if their views are better or worse. How do I create a view? Oh, create view. Okay, so I create a grid view from here. So let's say this is live companies and let's say i create another view called archived companies let's add a few records so let's say we want to create uh abc inc i'm trying to use some keyboard shortcuts doesn't seem to be working super well but uh let's add acne let me see how i can create a new base let's say we've got contacts excellent and let's call this Alex. Can I now very quickly add like works at, like add a link works at and field types. So this is our initial look at field types. Is there anything special? Let's check it out. Jason, it's funky. Okay, geometry, whatever do you mean? Well, there's formula, which is nice, but I don't see anything super special. So let's go links, many to many, has many. Okay, you're gonna confuse a lot of users. Most of your users will be power users i think because this is not like super mass marketed but okay so works at has many so i guess can work companies oh this is interesting because i don't think i can share out to other bases sample views so this is just a base all right gotcha so i don't think i can link out to other bases like you can do in smart suite so Interesting. Okay, that's a bit of a minor thing. Generally speaking, let's jump in and let's see what the linking looks like. Works at links has many companies save field. Cool. And no records linked. Link more records. Yeah. That, okay. This is a little bit dumb because I should wait. Hold on. No records linked. Oh, if I press the plus, it gives me all the companies. If I just press on that thing, it doesn't. All right. One company. No, 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 no. <laughs> 
What one company? No, give me the freaking name of the company. I don't care about how many companies I'm linked to. Is there a way to change that? Okay, this is, this is pretty bad. I guess you can pretty much build a base fairly quickly and easily, but so far, I'm not a huge fan of how the linking works. So now let's take a deep dive into how many view types they have. More specifically, I'm kind of more interested into how they handle forms. Are they any better than Airtable's bad forms? Do they offer any interesting features? Let's take a look at that. All right, so let's take a look at the views that these guys have got on offer. And from what I can tell, we've got this create a view button and we've got grid, form, gallery and Kanban. So not a lot. In this day and age, you definitely need calendar. In this day and age, you definitely need Gantt views, maybe timeline. And there is a few other ones that we've seen in uh, Smart Suite and also in AI table like the organizational structure view that was pretty cool. I'm mostly interested in form views because I want to see how easily you can manipulate a form and how quickly you can build a form and what it looks like. So we've got our builder here. We've got our fields. I suspect you drag and drop them into the form. No, you just click them in. Okay. And then you drag and drop them. Yep. We've got form. How can I edit? this stuff okay so test form title is there any way to add some help text required okay you can make a field required which is kind of nice this really looks incredibly simplistic i'm actually missing Airtable's forms Airtable's forms to me uh, lack a lot of functions a lot of functionality but this is really not usable. I mean, it's usable for very, very basic things. Probably a little bit more usable than AI table because there I couldn't even remove a field. Here, at least I can remove it, but it would be nice to be able to dynamically show hide some fields. I'm not even going to go into dynamically being able to select the option. So if I choose the option A here in this field, it would immediately filter where I work. For instance, that could be an interesting little thing, like dynamic dropdowns sort of thing. So this is super basic. Share, enable public, share base, no. All right, so super basic, not a huge fan, but you know, it's in technical preview. So I guess we give them a free pass. I mean, it's free, which is nice, but more to be expected from this. Let's take a deeper look at what kind of fields they've got available. I'm mainly interested in the formula field. Why? Because it's one of the fields, field types that is used very often by power users, just like myself. And I want to see how easy it is for me to create simple formulas. How helpful is the formula builder interface? I think the golden standard right now, at least for me, is Airtable's formula builder. It has evolved over the years and I want to see if these guys are making an effort to help people navigate formulas. So let's create an extra little field, insert after. So I'm going to create a last name. Let's see. Let's see if we can create a full name. I'm going to use formula. There we go. First and foremost, let's take a look at how many different functions they've got. And I can see they've got quite a lot. They haven't really broken them down. What do I need to do? Let's say I want to do concat. Okay, they've got concat. Can I go title? All right, title and last name. Excellent. This is great. I jumped in, I used a quick function and started typing in the names of my fields, space, the next field. Love it. It's really nice. We also have like a little helper here with like the function. Although, uh, dude, I don't care about average right now. I'm in concat. So I need help on concat, not on average. So why are you giving me average? I understand that I'm hovering my mouse over here, but I don't care about it. This is where I'm writing my formula. I need help here. So generally speaking, this is not too bad. I wonder if they have some kind of like interesting select or something like that. But yeah, I don't think they do. Anyway, this looks fairly good. So let's take out some other things that they might have on offer. So JSON is kind of unique. Ge what is geometry? I really want to understand geometry. Is there a help 
somewhere. Give me a few minutes, or let me figure out what the hell geometry does. So yeah, I've been trying to figure out what this geometry field does, and uh, guess what? They don't even know, because <laughs> I'm going into their documentation, and the documentation about geometry is that uh, create a geometry field. They don't tell me what this field does. There is no examples. Yeah, I get it. That's how you create any field. But yeah, thanks for nothing, noco DB. Now, moving on to the next part of our first impressions, and this is really any kind of special features that they might have. So like automation, that sort of thing. Let's take a look. So now let's take a look at automations. Do they even have something like this? And from the, you know, two, three seconds that we took a look at this, you know, just by navigating a little bit, I didn't really notice anything. <laughs> the only thing that kind of caught my eye is this details tab. Although I like the UI of this, I don't feel like there is an automations platform that these guys offer. I mean, we've got relations. Oh, this is kind of cool. No right click. All right. APIs. Oh, this is interesting. I can probably hook up APIs to this through curl requests, I guess. I'm not sure, but it is what it is. Then we have webhooks. Create webhooks to power your automations. All right, we're getting somewhere close. So new webhook. Okay, all right. So this is a little bit stupid because I guess I can create a webhook to fire off to another webhook. Yeah, this is nice, it's advanced, but I'm not sure that this is what a beginner user might want to see. It's nice to have, for me, for instance, because I can probably push data to Zapier to make.com through this with a little bit of setup. But still, how do I automate the data flow within my own database? For instance, if I have a trigger in table A, can I edit table B with uh, minimum effort? I don't want to be calling Zapier or calling some or make to just make simple changes to my database. Not great that they are missing this, but it is what it is. What are my conclusions about NoCodeDB? My first impressions are that it's got a lot of potential. I really like the user interface. I really like the user experience. There are big gaps in terms of what is missing first and foremost automation the fact that i cannot automate certain parts of the database just within the platform as a whole is annoying next linking and this is kind of a deal breaker for me personally like here where i've linked alex to a company and it just says one company okay fine great i want to see which company it is Smart Suite, AI Table, Airtable, everybody is handling links in the normal way where it would tell you which company you're linking to. Not here. So yeah, that's a bit of an annoying feature. The other thing is that you can't link bases onto themselves. This is a feature that Smart Suite has been spoiling us with, and it's great. Everybody should have it. Even Airtable should make it way more accessible to do that sort of thing, to link between bases and be able to edit various tables from wherever you are. That's another thing that's kind of missing. We are also missing views. We don't have a calendar view, which is a big deal. You can't have a database or an Airtable clone, so to speak, without a calendar view. You're basically almost like a spreadsheet at that point. <laughs> These are sort of my first kind of nitpicky first impressions but i'm rooting for these guys i really hope that they continue to evolve of course this is just a technical preview but they also have a lot of people backing them so i hope with all this backing that they that they can actually progress and make this a really really interesting or that's it for me for today and i will catch you in the next one cheers yeah.